here we go. Once upon a time not long ago, well, come to think of it, it was about 20 years or so. A little boy from Oregon, whose name was made who never heard of Tuggy, fresh orange but he poke, he kept making for him noises with his mouth and lips, cause he wanted to make the sounds that he thought were hip. Making music with his family out in the back, trying to rock and beats with his sister, singing songs in the car until one sweet day, a couple of years later, Bonnie heard Billy Robsdale doing a beatbox song. The beat and the chorus at the very same time, little plate had one brand new thing on his mind. He said, this is a thing that people actually do. Well, I'll I guess that means I'm gonna beatbox too. Now it's been a years later and I still can't stop rocking beats all the time. As I run or I walk or I work or I think or wash my hands in the sink or on the stage with empties driving faster than I can think. Sometimes I forget to beatbox on TV, which is fun, and I get to beatbox when I'm an MC, which is funny for me because I'm not a hip hop MC, I'm more of a necktie and podium version of Master of Ceremonies. But that's cool, because those people always want to hear more. They've never heard of human beatbox before. Once the music starts flowing out of the mouth and lips, they start thinking, if this is possible, what else have I missed? And so I go from TV shows to live events and TED Talks is trying to spread the good word of the human beatbox.